If you've been stacking filters for a while, chances are you've ran into vignetting and spent a bit of money on a map box setup. This new Magrota system made by Valium somehow solves all these issues with magnets and a simple golden lever. What's going on everybody, Two London Refill Maker here, where I take all the main info of a review, put it into a small video so you can get on your way. So the major question I want to answer is, why is this gold lever followed by the gold ring so awesome for filters? Well, basically speaking, you have the option now to actually adjust each filter independently so that you get exactly what you're looking for. So specifically speaking, let's take the streak filter for example. This is to try to get the anamorphic flare. Once I get the anamorphic flare where I want it, I lock it in place. The second stage would be something like a CPL. And basically, I'm using this because I want to make sure that that window over there is not glaring too much. Traditionally speaking, when you're trying to align both of these with regular screw-on filters, good luck, because every screw pitch is a little bit different, and you might not even be exactly where you need to be. So, with this system, the fact that they all rotate independently allows you to actually get exactly what you want. And you can keep stacking more effect filters and making sure that they are all rotated in the right orientation. The second question is that this thing is to ditch a matte box. Now, a matte box obviously has its own purposes, especially with the flags, but if you're only using a matte box for the ability to have a couple stages of filters, well, this is going to deal away with that because when it comes to traditional matte boxes, they don't let you go as wide, especially when you're stacking more filters. Whereas this system, because it's so close to the front optics, you're able to use up to three stages of filters with a wide 14 millimeter lens. Now I don't actually have a 14 millimeter lens, but when you're shooting 24, 28, you're good to go. You can stack as many filters as you want, really. Not only that, because matte boxes specifically would have to be on a railing system, this allows you to not have to deal with that while still getting multiple stages of filter effects. So the last question I wanna answer is, all right, well, how good are these optics? Valium sent me their deluxe kit, which basically has everything for filmmakers and photographers. So without further ado, buckle up, let's go through each one to see you know, how sharp it is, is there any color shifts, what does the effect actually look like? For these tests, I did a custom white balance on my bare lens and left it there to see just how the optics changed the image color. I then did a custom white balance with the filter to see what my camera actually registers. First up, we have the dual CPL that has a slight warming to the image, but not too much and it's not too noticeable. The variable ND 2 to 5 stops comes in warmer at 5100K with a plus 1 green shift. You can kind of see that in my skin tone. The variable ND 5 to 9 stays on the warmer side as well at 5100K, but this time with a plus 1 magenta shift, as you can see my skin tone is now more flush. The IR NDs in this set is designed to cut away a bit of that red spectrum color, so it does make sense that the filter is registering a little cooler at 5600K with a magenta shift. The graduated ND is close to basically a straight non-CPL filter, so we don't really see a color shift at 5400K. For the cinemists, we see a flattening of the image in a flat lighting situation. But if you have a strong, powerful light in a very high contrast scene, this is where the mist shows its purpose. As far as color shifts goes, not a lot going on at 5300K. For the blue streak filter, we get that nice anamorphic streak in the color blue. Because there are blue filaments in the filter itself, the camera does register a cooler color at 5600K. And lastly, we have the gold streak filter. Because of the warm orange filaments, we do see a warmer white balance at 5100K. In terms of the optics, they are nice, they're sharp, they have really good coatings on it, especially this new ultra low reflection coating that basically helps you retain contrast so that your colors are nice and punchy and they don't fade. So what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is I've thought about getting matte boxes before because I wanted to have multiple stages much easier to work with different types of filters, but I never did because I just really didn't want to have a whole railing system with a matte box. And then when I switch out the lens, then I have to readjust the matte box, especially if it's a zoom lens that barrels forward and backwards, then you have to readjust again. Valium has made a system that pretty much negates that. It's compact enough, it's not terribly heavy, and it all goes onto the front element of your lens so you don't have to worry about that. And the fact that all of them rotate independently allows me much more control of my image, especially when it comes to that CPL and the streak filter. So 
by design, this is amazing. Not only that, they are going to be running a Kickstarter here soon for an early bird special, but even the full retail version, if you're going to be getting all of these different filters, especially at these sizes in a matte box format, they do get quite expensive. So this is definitely a cheaper alternative to allow you to have different stages of filter effects. And hey, that is the end of this video, everybody. If this video has made all the difference in your purchasing decisions, I do have some affiliate links down below. Should you use them, it does help support the channel, and I thank you for that. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. This has been TLDR Filmmaker. I'll see you guys in the next one.